community development process. Introduction. Community development moves progressively from one condition or state to the other. For instance, it may be changing from where a small group of people alight within or from outside a local setup make a decision for the old to share the people themselves make decisions that affect them. In this study session, we will explore community development as a process. Learning outcomes. When you have studied this session, you should be able to discuss community development as a process. Community development process. Community development can be seen as a socializing process for the introduction of social change for better living in a community through the development of abilities and other forms of behavior, which are positive to the values of that community. Because it introduces new ideas and abilities for solving problems, it involves a process of education which helps the people concerned to think for themselves, to execute projects by themselves, and to effect lasting solutions to their community's problems by themselves. Community development process promotes the general objectives of democratization and regeneration, both viewed in the context of lifelong education aimed at strengthening the activities concerned with elaborating community development programs. Adi Bagbo, 2006. The structural implication of such regeneration is that it aims at a thorough interpretation of formal and non-formal educational activities, which tend to give community development a wider and more diversified conception, considering it as a factor of lifelong education improvement, whether these are economic, social, civic, or cultural. The first stage focuses on the systematic discussion on common felt needs by members of a community. The morals of the people may be raised to the point of desiring to make meaningful achievements to satisfy their needs, and the needs can be felt in their way the people live. Discussion is therefore central to how people can make effort to achieve betterment for themselves. This can be achieved through individual or group discussion, which will later be shared with others. Anyao, 1992. The first stage of discussion becomes the beginning of diagnosis and later identifies other people who can carry on the discussion to wider public for further public discussion and plan for positive action to satisfy the needs. The second stage, usually lays emphasis on the systematic planning to select what people want to do to satisfy their needs, which have to be within the community, self-help capacity. At this point, there will be wider discussions on what causes the problem, examining the options to the community. This will lead to a proper selection of the project that will satisfy the community needs. Adi Babu, 2006. The main element here is to identify and decide what to do to achieve development. This is possibly if they can identify their problems and be prepared to do something to solve this problem. Project selection is an important feature of community development. It deals with practical. It involves mobilization of local manpower and excites community members. It is the natures of the project which will make people know what to contribute money, materials, or more labor in order to carry out the project. It is a stake that mobilizes community to do something for itself. And another important thing here is the efficiency of the local leader to direct the organization of the people's project in order to explain the aims of the project to their people and people should cooperate actively. The third stage is the mobilizing of the physical, economic, and social helps from the community to build up social services, Anyao, 1992. This process usually comes from the people's voluntary labor, 
with technical and monetary assistance from government and other agencies wherever possible. Once a committee starts to work on a project which is expected to yield benefits to the whole community, members of such community shall start contributing to its successful completion. Anyahu, 1999. The essence of governmental and non-governmental agencies is to encourage a sense of imitative self-help and mutual assistance among the people and make them self-reliant. It is at this stage that people know that community development means self-development by the community as a whole and not development of the community by government or any extraneous body. The fourth stage is identifying most resources needed for maintenance of the previous stage. It is at this stage that community interests and efforts are clearly known. Some people will provide public services or continuing effort. Idea of maintenance of the stage is also known at this stage. The fifth stage in the community development is identification of evaluation. Evaluation will point out the progress made and it will show whether the objectives of making the project being met or the needs of the people, the people capacity to absorb change for better living and their participatory potentiality in the program, whether the project changed the people general, condition or its improved pattern of behavior of the people or whether they acquire more knowledge, skill and attitude or promote human being. All this will be known through evaluation process the evaluation will enable the community to know the next step to follow. And this also must have relation with the objectives. Study session summary. In this study session, we examined community development process. We noted that community development involves progressive movement from one stage to a higher stage of social and human development in relation to the people in a given community. End of study session three. Thanks for listening.